If you're looking for the new Sakata restaurant, you'll find it when you come off Kotodori down this little alley, which is just one stoplight away from Aoyama Dori. You walk down this alleyway and you come to a place that David Cheeto is going to describe. What are we looking at, David? Okay, Kong, right now we're looking at the entrance of our new operation. Uh, we have three facilities in one location. Sikata has uh, been relocated from Hiro. We've also opened up a satellite of our uh, bakery called Breadworks in Tenno's Isle. And we also have created a casual uh, cafe called Crisscross. Cross. And this is the entranceway. And you can see the nice decking. And we've got lots of outdoor seating. And uh, it's a great place to come in the afternoon and relax and have some bread from the bakery or a casual lunch. Or you can go into the restaurant and enjoy Sikata as you once knew it at the old location, but at a newer and improved and much more gorgeous and relaxing location here in Omotesando. Let's go have a look inside. Sure, let's go. This is the entranceway to Breadworks, the satellite of our Tenozaya location bakery. Uh, basically the same lineup of bread products that we offer in Tenos, plus some new items that are unique to the Aoyama location. And Kong, the baking process here is an ongoing all day long from 6 o'clock in the morning till about 7 p.m. So the bread is constantly being produced fresh all day. Now we're at the entrance of Criss Cross. Uh, right now it's enclosed with some nice plastic sheets and we've got heaters inside to keep it nice and toasty for you so you can sit inside and have a lunch or an early dinner. In the summertime it will be all open and you can enjoy the outdoor park-like setting as well under the trees. This is such a beautiful location. Yeah, we're very lucky to have uh, gotten this location, and actually. And a wooden deck. Yes. As you can hear. Yes. And a nice and relaxing kind of a resort kind of feel to it. Feels like you're almost not in Tokyo. Yeah, so now we're actually inside Criss Cross. The dining area is a little small, but it's nice and cozy, and we look right into the open kitchen where my chefs are producing the nice food that we serve here, sandwiches and salads, and it's kind of casual, but everything's nice and fresh, and everything is served on our bread made at Breadworks next door. Okay, so this is another perspective looking out over the park-like outdoor cafe area, just to give you an idea how lovely it is out here, and we can move across to Breadworks and crisscross again, and then we move right into... Our baby, my baby, Sikata. It's hard to believe we're in central Tokyo. Isn't it? Wait till you get inside and see. You'll really be surprised. We've got a pond in there. Well, let's start walking. Oh, what do you have over here? This is our outdoor bar area. Uh, in the summertime, this is going to be really nice because it's nice and cool in here. And we've got all of our beer from our brewery on Tenno's on tap. You can sit out here and use it as a bar space casual appetizers, tapas, and things like that, and enjoy the outdoor fresh air. Am I seeing water over here? Yes, indeed you are. We've created a pond, a small pond in the middle of the restaurant. Oh, and you've got some nice-looking furniture out there, too. Yes, we do. This is our outdoor lounge area, and this is a beautiful space to sit down, especially on the weekends and the afternoon, relax and enjoy the open air and the freshness, and just imagine you're someplace other than Tokyo. We're at the brand new Sikata restaurant located in Aoyama. Formerly, you probably may remember that it was located in Hiro. We're with David Chido. David is the managing director. Is that what you said, David? Yeah, that, that works. And you're also one of the concept developers for the brand new Cicada restaurant? That's correct. You've got some beautiful architectural work here. Gorgeous doors, and you've got tiles that seem to be inspired from... North Africa, North perhaps? Africa? Morocco? Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Indeed. David, this is such a beautiful restaurant. I imagine it takes some time to get a reservation here. Right now, you're one or two weeks out. Um, if you call ahead, and if you don't want to come at 8 o'clock on Saturday night, you probably get a reservation pretty easily. Uh, when you enter the restaurant, you'll be um, right in front of the guest relations station, and one of the girls will take care of you for sure. David, upon 
entering, we see a nice hallway here, and uh, we also see some counter seats. Is that correct? That's correct. This is the counter seating that overlooks the garden uh, pond lounge area. This is a nice place for couples to sit. You can enjoy the view and relax and have a little bit of privacy. Do you need reservations for this area? Absolutely. Is there any time of day when you don't need reservations here at the New Sakata? Uh, you can walk in any time. Uh, lunchtime, you know, if you come after 1 o'clock, it's relatively easy to get a spot, but it's always best to make a reservation, especially for dinner. That's the bar back there, and of course some of your staff here. Yes. Pan around and have a look into the kitchen. You have a rather huge kitchen at this place. Yes, we do. we got a nice kitchen space, and it's designed very well. It's very efficient, and... I've got a great crew here executing my cuisine. Everybody works hard, does a good job. Do customers often stop to look in the kitchen? Yes, they do, and we're happy when they do. It's you always are. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Always nice to say hi and enjoy when a customer's curious and will come in and see what we're doing. We're like to show them what we're doing. Let's walk towards the bar. Sure. I like the lighting here. Yeah, it's nice and subdued. It's nice and warm. This is one of the elements from the original Cicada that we, that we wanted to keep here, that atmosphere, that warm, inviting, relaxing kind of atmosphere. Um, if you notice, the floor is just like the original floor. It's made out of olive wood. It's an olive wood parquet. And the tabletops and the bar counters are all the same parquet wood. Um, the lighting uh, fixtures as well, similar designs. And, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, back again to that Mediterranean style in the design work. Typical table setting here. Yes. Uh, David, how much would it cost dinner for two here at the New Cape? Dinner for two with drinks and or wine. Oh, anywhere between 7,000 and 10,000 yen. It really depends what you're drinking. Uh, you could budget maybe 3,000 3, yen per person for food. Depends how hungry you are. And it looks like you have tables of all sizes. Too. We do indeed. We've got, we can accommodate tables of parties of two. We have a couple of large tables. Oh, there's a big one back there. That's right. That's a nice communal table. That table seats 10 people. We also have a private room. Uh, just in front of you, and this is really nice. If you want some privacy, you want to have a private party. Also, we accept children only in the private room. Oh, so no children? No children. This is an adult restaurant. That's correct. Just like the old Cicada, it's the same policy we have for children. Is smoking allowed in this restaurant? Absolutely no smoking whatsoever. We have a smoking box near the entrance that Japan Tobacco helped us organize. So if you'd like to smoke, you have to go to the smoking room. And inside the restaurant, some beautiful artwork, David. Yes, indeed. Back again to that Mediterranean theme. And a, well, it looks like a gorgeous chandelier. Yeah, this is the focal point of the main dining area. Lovely. We're in the outside terrace area right now, David. Uh, who did the design for this? This is very nice. The restaurant was designed by our two designers. It was a collaboration, uh, Takizaki-san and Nagasaki-san. They designed, uh, Takizawa designed the original Sikara and Hiro, and Nagasaki-san is a designer of Ivy Place in Daikanyama. We're coming in from the outside terrace area, now moving inside once again. That, of course, uh, the outside area where there are sofas. You need to make reservations for that area, right, David? Uh, no, we're not taking reservations for outside. That's a first come, first serve. Now we're in the bar area, and we've got a wonderful wine cooler stocked with lots of Spanish and Italian wines, 15 or so offered by the glass, so you can play around and have fun with that. Hi, 
Hi, I'm David Quito, and I'd like to welcome you to Cicada in Emotasando. Please make a reservation. The number is right at the bottom of the screen, and we look forward to welcoming you soon. Thank you.